Yeah! Hey, what's up, everyone? Come on, Armani456 here. Today, doing the finale of this Let's Play right here. So, last time we did Asteroid Coaster, and now we're going to do this stage right here. So, let's go and hop into this. Ooh, and we got a cutscene. Oh, 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 that fool Sonic thinks he's won because he destroyed all my generators. Well, the mind control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh! <laughs> the last laugh? How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yeah, I laugh last all the time! People look at me like I'm an idiot! Forget about it! <laughs> That's because you are an idiot! Oh gosh, I love Cubot. Hmm. He's hilarious. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you! Freaking idiot! Orbot is standing right beside him! Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hey man, we took your IQ test. Oh, never mind. In a few seconds, it won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind. What's that, boss? Me. Oh, snap. Oh crap, here we go. Wow, that looks amazing, but... Oh crap. I knew this thing looked suspiciously evil, just like the one in Sonic Unleashed. Friggin' laser. Oh crap. What the heck? Another Sonic Adventure 2 reference. No! This can't be happening! It's backfiring! <laughs> That does it for that cutscene right here. Looks like we are on terminal velocity and this is Act 1. Uh, yeah. But, um, let's go and hop into this. Oh no! Hey, Tails? Yeah? I got a bad feeling about this. Good, so it's not just me. When I feel the ground shaking under my feet and see plumes of dust rising and rubble tumbling and aliens running for their lives, yeah, I get a bad feeling. So, how about you and me make like Eggman's hairline and recede? <laughs> uh, this isn't joke time. This is running to the space elevator time. Sorry, couldn't help myself. We're out of here. Yeah, we're running now. Oh, here we go, here we go, skadoosh. All right then, so now we are totally going no holds barred, just running full speed ahead. All right, quick edit right there. Sorry about that. I got an interruption, got some random phone call while I was in the middle of this stage and I ended up getting hit by crab meat. So I decided, you know what, let me restart this. But um, anyway, this stage is really awesome. Um, it's kind of automated at times, as you can see. Well, actually, basically the entire stage is almost automated. All you gotta do is just go left and right, jump, dodge, boost, all that jazz. But, um, it's really awesome. Like, look at this. You're running straight down off this laser right here. This is something, like, it's just an absolutely awesome experience. 
And then listen to this music. It's not as hardcore as Asteroid Coaster, but my gosh, is it just, uh, it's like sex or ear candy. Sex for my ears. <laughs> Some people were kind of commenting when I uh, commented on the Death Egg video sign for episode 2. Uh, but yeah, basically right here, just want to do the quick steps and stuff to take out these enemies. And you get some extra wisps and stuff, wisp bonus. So you want to make sure you have a ton of wisps for the later section of this stage. Because it's going to get, uh, it's going to get pretty intense later and you're going to want to have a lot of boost. Listen to this! Oh my gosh, it's so awesome! This game, I, I'm telling you, every time I hear this game, like, you know, I think, okay, this Sonic game, it doesn't have the best soundtrack, but it's pretty dang awesome. Whenever I listen to it, though, it gives me that feeling that no other Sonic game can give me. Even Sonic CD, it's crazy. I love this soundtrack. This is, now that I think about it, this is quickly becoming my favorite 3D Sonic soundtrack. It is amazing. Overall, because... Even though I like Hydra City Zone better. Alright, here we go. Skadoosh! Yeah, you want to go full out Skadoosh mode on this section right here and outrun his lasers. But, um, you know, in the Hydra City Zone, I like that remix more, but it does not, like, the soundtrack of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I don't think it really compares to this. This is my favorite soundtrack. I, this game is just, like, just playing through this game over again has changed my mind totally. This is the best Sonic soundtrack I've heard, just overall, for everything. It's amazing. I love it. And there we go. S rank, and we got all four lives. Like a boss. Let's go. Alright then, so... Here we are. This is it, everyone. We are going to the final boss. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to say before. This stage has no red ring, so you don't have to be concerned about it whatsoever. So, let's go and hop into this now. Greet it to a cutscene. Here we go! Oh, snap! It can't be. Oh, heck no. There are no lines, and I've saved the best rides for last! <laughs> At least let me stab your hand so you can come back in! I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. So just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Curse <laughs> you, Sonic! Not only do you foil my plans, but you foil my speeches as well! I work hard on them! No matter! <laughs> I gotta say, that's probably one of the best lines in, in this game. After the no copyright line, the universe is gonna stop me. Like a million times better. Thank you. <laughs> This robot is special! He's powered by the energy from your little friends! He is invincible! So I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit I'm a little scared. I don't think we can beat this guy. What the flip tail, you, you ground, idiot? Right? You have no faith in me? I shall kick you out for that. Just got one last thing to do! When you're in doubt, you chicken out, Tails. That's why I send you out of here. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, and here it is, the final boss of the game. And while um, this is one of the most epic Sonic final boss battles, um, sadly, it's quite easy. Um, he can catch you by surprise at times and uh, throw you off, but really, he is an extremely easy boss. So anyway, just basically do this chain of humming attacks right here. BAM! And then... Skadoosh! Ah, yes. Take it in the face, Eggman. <laughs> so yeah, one thing you want to do also in this stage is quick step a lot. It gives you a ton of points. So take advantage of that. Bam! 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 And... Bam! Okay, one more time. Boost! Yeah, actually, why did I say one more time? He's got quite a lot of hits, actually. But, um, yeah, usually just, basically, this stage is really easy. It's just a pattern. You want to dodge um, every attack he does, and after that phase, then you just basically home attack him to his claws. So it's really, really quite simple. But he can, does have some cheap tricks, like I said before, so keep your keep on your toes about it. Wait, here you go. 
Bam. All right. Take this! And now, here we go. As you can tell right here, this is the or orchestrated version of Reach for the Stars. And it sounds amazing. Listen to this. It is like... It's, it's rivals endless possibilities like orchestrated tune. It's that great. Listen to this. Oh yeah. Oh, you can't touch this. Can't touch this. Look at us. <laughs> that was so awesome. It was like Sonic was just hopscotching over it or something. Here we go. Take this, Eggman! I'm sick and tired of you. And here we go. Now that we have collected all the wisps from all the blows that we've taken upon them, now we can un um, unleash them. Limited colors. Here we go! Super Duper Ultra Rainbow Scrooge! Oh yeah! Sonic CD reference for the win. But there we have it. That was the final boss of this game. Give me an S rank! Heck yeah, for freaking Skadoosh Nader! Woo! That is what I'm talking about. This is that that's the way to end the let's play right there with the best rank possible. Oh yeah. So yeah, sadly no supersonic, uh what is it? No supersonic like transformation in this game. But uh still freaking oh, awesome. Yeah. Who turned out the light? <laughs> I love the VA in this game. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Eggman. Oh, Schnappigans. Oh gosh, that does not look good at all. Oh, CGI cutscene for the win. This might not end well. Oh yeah, here we go. Wee skadoosh. That was awesome. Okay then. So here we are, on to Act 2, which is really not that much of an act. Basically, you're just dodging bombless pits and everything. You don't really even have to do anything, because you get no rank on this stage. You just dodge the bombless pits, like I said. But this is the best tune, like in terminal velocity. Listen to this. I'm telling you, just because this so this stage is so short, go watch the 15 minute extended version of this song. It is amazing. And there we go. Oh no, no. Sonic's dead! No! No more Sonic games. Oh. Oh, he's alive! Hallelujah! Look at that, they're all the wisps. They're all free. Oh look! All the Nega Wisps turn back to normal. Oh wait, we can't do that anymore. What a shame. Hey, Yakker. Uh, he said, "Thank you for saving us." You're welcome. Thank you for saving us. <laughs> uh, he says. You are welcome. 
That thing's translating pretty good. Yep, I finally got all the kinks out. We can talk to them perfectly now. <laughs> oh, great. He says, goodbye, my friends. I have to go. <laughs> Just when I got this thing working. Better late than never, buddy. Right on. Oh, yeah. And there we have it. That is the end of Sonic Colors. <laughs> I forgot about this song. Bubble gum pop music for the win. So there's Takashi Izuka right there. He, you are amazing. But anyway, yeah, so this... We finally finished this Let's Play, and this is like my third Let's Play I've ever done of this game, so... Uh, yeah. But, um, I guess I'll go on and give my opinions now, since I always do that whenever, um, I go through the credits of the game. Just kind of give you what I think. All that jazz. So, basically, I would recommend this game any day. It is, like I've said in so many episodes of this game, it is one of the best 3D Sonic games you can buy. So a lot of, some people don't like it because you know they don't like the wisps or they don't like their that their that there aren't um, a lot of 3D speech sections or anything like that. But what I like about this game is that it kind of it's kind of unique from the other 3D Sonic games, and I doubt there's ever going to be one that's a lot like this game because uh, you know it seems like with this game it, they tried to meld almost like 2D, um, like old school 2D platforming and stuff from the past with old Sonic games along with 3D, uh, you know, speed sections in uh, Sonic Unleashed. And that's what I kind of like about the game because, you know, there's a lot of 2D platforming, which I love. And then uh, not only that, there are like a lot of speed sections that are just like Unleashed Daytime stages. And it was just a great, it was just a great combination. That's what I loved about this game. Like, you know, just something about, it was so unique from the other Sonic games. And it seems like the level design and everything was so much better in this game than a lot of other Sonic games I've played. Um, the music's better. The, um, you know, environments have much more variety. And it's just, it's a really fun game overall. It's, it kind of, um, you know, it kind of seems like they also kind of like tried to, um, go a bit like Sonic, like Super Mario Galaxy a bit, which is probably one reason why this game is so good. How much I care, together we can take a stand. <laughs> I love this song, it's so freaking corny, cheesy, but awesome at the same time. How much I care, together we can take a stand. Fall apart, speak with your heart, and always take it with you into the stars. And pran and pran and and pran. Don't fall apart. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. But yeah, I mean, another thing, like, you know, one thing that's really important to me, especially with Sonic games, is if the music's really good. And Sonic has never really had that many problems, besides, uh, Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, but with this music in this game, it just like, it's just taken to the next level almost. Like, I've been thinking about it, Th like as you heard earlier in the, when I in this video right here. This is actually, now that I think about it, just the more I've listened to the soundtrack over again, I'm, it's like my favorite soundtrack in like the Sonic series. It, there's just so much variety. Well, I still like Hydra City Zone Act 2 more, as for a soundtrack overall, this game is, like, the best, in my opinion. Like, if you listen to the stage music and everything, it just, it fits the mood and everything perfectly, and it's like, 
this is some music that I would actually just listen to on the go, like on my 3DS or my MP3 player. Like, it's just that good. It can range from peaceful with Plant Wisp, kind of, uh, you know, hardcore rock with Asteroid Coaster, Terminal Velocity, kind of, you know, still having guitar riffs that are similar to, like, the Adventure 2 days. Um, and then other stages like Aquarium Park, which remind me of, uh, which remind me of, like, uh, Sonic, um, Hydra City Zone and, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I mean, that's what I just love about this game, and I can't stress it enough. It just has so much variety. So yeah, if I could give this game a rating, like, like I've said before, I would probably give it, like, a 9, like an 8.5 or 9, probably. Because, I mean, not the, this game isn't perfect. Um, you know, sometimes the controls can be a bit clunky in the 3D sections with the drift and stuff, and um, quick step not responding as uh, well as you'd like it to at times. But it still is very fun, and it happens kind of rarely. Like, this game hardly even has any glitches. This is, like, the opposite of, like, Sonic 06. It's like... It's like... Uh, what is it? I don't know, like, an angel compared to the devil. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Uh, we have the main theme of Sonic uh, Colors. And it's really awesome. Kind of high-pitched at times and still kind of sounds like a bit kitty, but it's awesome. Not letting go, I'll keep on running, I'm gonna reach for the stars. Oh, my voice is cracking. Look pretty far, damn damn I'm gonna find my own way. And take the chance of the day. Hey! Like I said, if you never sing with Sonic, Sonic music, something's wrong with you. Freaking, like, you you call yourself a Sonic fan? That, I mean, seriously, that if you don't sing along with Sonic music, it's just, you, you really have something wrong with you. For the stars tonight. But yeah, I've kind of rambled on already about the game and stuff and, you know, just how awesome it is. Like, it's so, it's so refreshing play this, playing this game compared to, <laughs> that was so awesome. It's so refreshing playing this game compared to, you know, just finishing Sonic 06. It's like, this game gave Sonic hope. You know, even after Sonic 4 Episode 2 came out, a lot of people were kind of, you know, praising slash bashing the game. This game was even better than that game. It was just like, wow, Sonic can really be good. Like, he can go back to his glory days, and now it's just been going uphill ever since then. That's why I love. I just love that. Sonic's back, baby. Oh yeah, taking out Sega of America! I love these destructible credits. Reminds me of Kid Icarus and Brawl and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not really talking right now because I'm just kind of listening to the music a bit, but, uh, yeah. Here we go, bam! In myself, so right. Yeah, I don't know the lyrics, so I'm not going to sing right here. The colors all around, just take my hand, we're gonna reach for the stars tonight. I think these people, actually, I think about it, I think they did the Big Arm remix of, uh, what is it, Sonic Generations 3DS. Reach for the stars tonight. Tonight. 
Oh yeah, so there we go, that's it. So yeah. Oh man, I love this game, it's so awesome. But one thing I did want to ask you all, um, even since this game's kind of over now, and I said already I'm not going to do all 100 medals because, uh, like, getting all the red medals because that's just way too much of a huge pain to do over again on camera, like, the the levels in the later stages, I knew where the red medals were located, but in the like earlier stages, like Sweet Mountain Zone, that stage is a real pain in the rear end to get those red medals, so I don't intend to get those, but um, one thing I do uh, want to ask you all is, um, which game would you- OH MY GOSH, JESUS IS IN THIS GAME! He redeemed this game, that's why Sonic's so awesome. Woo! Sonic Colors is so awesome. <laughs> Jesus redeemed this game. Hallelujah in the sanctuary. Woo woo. But yeah, um, as I was saying, uh, I am not going to be doing another Sonic LP for probably a good while. Because, um, you know, I've been uh, playing through, you know, I've been usually doing a Sonic Let's Play and stuff every, like, after one's finished, then I go on to another Sonic game. It's been kind of fun a lot. I've enjoyed it, but um, I'm going to kind of hold off a bit because I want to go on and finish Super Mario Galaxy 2, and then not only that, um, Gravity Days is going to be coming out in a couple of days for the PS Vita, and I'm really excited about that, and uh, a lot of great games are going to be coming out really soon, so I want to focus on those games and finish Super Mario Galaxy 2, but one thing I would like you all to let me know in the comments below is... Would you like me to redo my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play like I did, redid this Let's Play? Because my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play had a ton of just quality problems and issues overall. My commentary, like it sounded weird with my mic and everything. And, uh, you know, just like the quality of the footage with my camera was terrible, it was horrendous. And, uh, you know, I, would, I intend to redo that Let's Play again sometime soon. But um, give me your opinions. If you would like to see a Let's Play on that game next, after, you know, I finish Super Mario Galaxy 2. Or if you would like me to do a Let's Play on Sonic Heroes. A lot of people have been asking me to Let's Play that game next. Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to post up a comment and, uh, you know, the more thumbs up the comment gets, um, either comment I'm going to have like Sonic Heroes or uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, the more likes it gets, the, that will be the next Sonic um, Let's Play I'll do uh, after um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is finished. So, But yeah, because I love both of those games, they're amazing. Like Sonic Heroes, well, I think it gets too much hate, especially if you don't play, like, People, a lot of people play like the PS2 version of the game. If you play the GameCube version of the game, it has less glitches. It's a lot more fun and stuff. And uh, I would love to do a Let's Play on that game because that's another Sonic game I'm really good at as well. Like seriously though, they're like almost every single Sonic game that's like 3D. I'm good at. It's just the 2D games I sometimes have problems with, like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's probably the that's probably the Sonic game I'm worst at. But yeah, um, just give me your opinions down below, comment, uh, leave leave a like on those comments or whatever, and, uh, you know, whichever one, like I said, gets the most likes or the most comments letting me know uh, which one they want to see next, I will do that Let's Play. So, but yeah, I just, I love this game so much. Makes It just makes you so happy to play it. That's why I just like playing this game sometime like every year at least, like once every year. It, it's just a good game to play. Like I seriously think it has more replay value and it can be more enjoyable than some of the newer Sonic games. I know some people don't agree with me. Like it's not as fast as Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed or any of those games, but you know this game... I like how it has a good mix of platforming and speed, which was what I think Sonic was all about back then, mostly. But there we go. That's it. Oh, holy balls! Look at that! Skadoosh! Get all those... Get all those lives. Hey, turn around, you idiot. Thank you. So there we go. Faster, you idiot! Faster! 
Put your backside in it. We don't have backside, boss. <laughs> Just push. We have to hurry. I already have my revenge planned out, and next time I will not fail. Of course you won't, boss. Of course you won't. On the bright side, a certain someone got their voice back. I feel like my old self. Although when he was talking, talking, talking. Oh, gosh. What I wouldn't give for the maddening silence of space right about now. <laughs> what a chatterbox. <laughs> Shaking his hips to the side and everything. Alright then, well, that does it. For uh, the credits, the cutscenes, and everything. So, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for sticking around to watch this Let's Play. It really, really means a lot to me. Glad that so many people enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed playing through this game over again. Like, I gotta say, though, I feel like this Let's Play, I've finally satisfied myself. I think I've done well with, like, you know... I think I did a lot, a much better job with the commentary, the quality so much better now. I feel pleased with this Let's Play, so you all don't have to be concerned about me doing a fourth Let's Play on this game. But yeah, but the only reason why I just redid this Let's Play was just because I just kept, I always felt terribly unsatisfied with my previous Let's Play, and I thought, you know what, I want to do this again. I want to redeem myself from that. But, yeah. I mean, like I said, thank you all so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. Glad so many people enjoy this Let's Play. All the comments, all the likes. It really helps me out a ton on this channel. And uh, it's very, very encouraging, you know, to hear, um, you know, hear your opinion, like, um, you know, just to read some of the comments. And uh, I enjoy reading people's opinions and stuff. It's, I, I just love, love it all. And I just love all of you. Just, you all are totally amazing. And, uh... No, keep on rocking. So, I'll just let this cutscene end, and, uh, you know, I guess I'll end this Let's Play. <laughs> oh, yeah! Alright then, well, since that cutscene's over, then I guess I'll go on and end this video right now. So, again, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for the support. And uh, also make sure to keep, um, you know, to like the video or comment if you enjoyed it. And also make sure to le like the, um, leave a comment or like the uh, comments that I put up. Um, letting you know uh, if you all want me to see, uh, if you all want me to do um, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 battle again, or if you would like to see Sonic Heroes next. So uh, thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace! Skadooshinator out.